Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Prajapati and in this video I will be solving another question that is how to handle multiple delimiter in a CSV file. Okay, so this question was asked in PwC company and many other companies also. So I thought to solve this question using PySpark solution. You can also solve this question via Spark SQL or Simple SQL queries also. Okay, so the question is we have uh, this data okay you can assume that you know this is the data and i stored this data into one csv file right <coughs> correct now uh, what i would do if i would you know if i just show you the data you know how this data looks so i have to write here dbutils.fs.head command right and here i need to pass that uh, you know the path let me run this so you can see this look like this id name marks and then we have saga 20 30 40 like this like this you know you can you can assume but it doesn't look very good so what i'll do i'll just first load the data into a data frame right and then i will show you how it looks so i'll create a df is equal to spark dot z dot csv not csv i would write and then i will write here uh, you know a format csv and then option option what i will do i will choose here header comma true okay now <coughs> here i will use again option and here i will use separator it means delimiter pipe right because here the delimiter is pipe i will not use here delimiter as comma because uh, you know in because see if you see the data carefully then we have id which is separated by pipe name separated by you know uh, pipe and then marks like in under marks we have a combination of a kind of array we can assume which is separated by comma so basically the main columns you know the main columns are separated by pipe only that's why you know i written here pipe delimiter and then i will use that load method correct and simply write here display of df <coughs> so if you can see over here this data look like this id name marks and we have you know all these data now uh, actually the data look like you know we have id1 name saga and we have uh, marks here so you can assume that 20 is a marks of physics subject 30 is a marks of chemistry subject and 40 is a marks of math subject so we have to segregate all these three marks into a separate separate columns okay so ideally the data frame uh, look like you know id name physics chemistry math like this okay so let's see how we can do that so here i will use here a df underscore output is equal to df dot and here i will use with column okay and here what i will do i will use here physics i will write here physics comma see i am gonna create a new column called physics correct on top of which data frame on top of df uh, data frame right and here i will use a split method see i need to segregate right because i know uh, the these combinations the, the, the marks combinations are are joined by comma right so if i use here a split method which splits splits the you know uh, the 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 string we can say yeah you no know, which is uh, the split split the strings with with that with that uh, separator correct so here what i will do i have to use here call right and then i will use that uh, that column name and i need to split with comma right so i'll use this and which index i want i want zero index so let me just do not write here uh, indexes for now and see i have used here split and call function so i have to use here i have to import here spark pi spark dot sql dot functions import call comma split right and let me quickly write here display of df underscore output see data look like this we have array 0 1 2 right but i need uh, i need because i mean i know the first index is a physics marks right so i will use here 0 correct 
now what I'll do, I'll just copy this, paste, then paste. And here I will rename chemistry and here I will rename to no maths, math, M capital, oops, correct. And here I will use here one and here I'll use two, cool, done. And also I now if I run this, you will be seeing that you know I'm having here marks column but that is not required. So what I can do either I can select this ID name physics chemistry mice or here I can use drop function to drop the column right which is not wanted which which we do not want. So call off marks hope it works done right. Now if you want to save this output in any of the table or location dbfs data lake so then you can you know do it correct so this is uh, this is you know i have shown you about this question and uh, please go and you know watch out my previous videos in this series only the pi spark interviews question series almost 20 30 questions have been you know put it in this uh, in in this series and uh, please do not watch i mean please do not skip any video so if you're planning for an interview right or pi spark interview so definitely if you just go for these you know 20 30 videos and questions if you solve it then definitely you will crack a first round or second round right also you need to prepare a project which i have built you know and on my website and you know i will give the link in the description box with some promo code so if you are willing or if you think that i should create a project on top of databricks you know and adf or you know cicd power bi then you can watch that or you and then you can take those those courses and yeah that's it and i will give this data this data set in the in the comment box and if you have any other better solution then you can also post it so that everyone will learn it okay chalo thank you bye bye